Thank you to the Twin Cities Business Magazine and, and uh, all the judges and the committee that, uh, that selected us. I'm honored and, and very humbled to be here tonight to represent our company and to be among so many other great companies that applied and were selected for this award. With me here tonight from, from Blattner and to help celebrate this award uh, is my wife, Dee Dee. We're all sitting over on this table over here. Scott and Kim Blattner and their daughter, Mackenzie, and husband, Josiah. In 1907, our great-grandfather, David Henry Blattner, started this company building railroad lines from Washington State to Kentucky. And along with his sons, they also constructed many roads and highways, including portions of the Alcan Highway during World War II. Our fathers, the third generation, continued the business building highways and dams and roads and many large infrastructure projects around the country. We spent some of our childhood in Ponca City, Oklahoma, building a dam, and in Chatfield, Colorado, uh, on another dam construction site. They gradually diversified into precious metal mining and once again, the building of railroads. One memorable mining adventure is a gold mine project we did in Alaska. This mine site was accessible only by air. It was a multi-stage equipment move to get all the pieces of equipment to Alaska, which first started loading the equipment from several sites around the country, hauling it on rail lines to British Columbia, and then from British Columbia, it was shipped by barge up to Anchorage, Alaska. From there, on rail lines again, and up to the Yukon River, loaded on barges, and then floated down the Yukon, at which point it was unloaded, cut into pieces, literally cut into pieces, small enough to fit into C-130 cargo planes, to then make its final journey, final leg of its journey, into the mine site by air. And so there were no roads at all going into this site. Of course, at that point, the equipment was unloaded, welded back together, and ready for production. This is just one example of the company's passion for adventure and can-do spirit. This sense of adventure, strong work ethic, and loyalty to the employees and their families has been passed on from David Henry to each generation and permeates throughout the company. Over the past 15 years, it has aided in the company's transformation into the current North American leader of renewable energy construction and the building of seven of the 10 largest wind farms in the country. This award truly goes out to our employees whose hard work, ingenuity, dedication to the company has taken this business to new levels, levels that we would never have dreamed of not too many years ago. We are so grateful to so many over the years that have helped us and have stood by us throughout the years I would like to thank our God who has blessed us in so many ways in making all this possible. I'd like to thank my wife, Dee Dee, and Kim, and all the other spouses of our employees. Truly, without their support and love, keeping us going in the right direction, none of this would, uh, would be possible. Thanks to prior generations of the family and managers who have dedicated their time and, and in many instances, their entire careers to this company and keeping it going. And thanks to our fellow executives and managers for your leadership and many hours planning and directing the company's future. I'd also like to thank the person who got us the nomination, Marcia Shotley, who is with us here tonight, along with her husband, Jerry. And lastly, thanks to our friends and business associates that are here to help us celebrate this award. Again, thank you to the magazine for this great honor.